Morning. Look at how bad look. It's freezing, but I'll tell you what, we're at Durdle Door and this is going to be a bloody good video. I'm aiming to get the sun through the door. Let's do this. Okay, so getting the sun rise through the door, the door, the door is not an easy feat. There's only one time of the year you can do it, and that's around Christmas, this time of the year, because the sun rises at different positions throughout the year. And nearer Christmas, it starts rising further south, and it gives you the ability to get the sunrise actually through the door. I'm lucky as well at the moment because it's low tide, so I've got a massive door. It's not high tide where you lose a lot of the the lower part of where the door is and when the sun rises, I'll have a lot of time to track it up. And as it goes up and to the south, goes that way, I'll have more time to get more pictures of the sun in the door. Now here's the biggest problem using weather apps. And I've had a few people who didn't come on my workshop today because they, they thought they wouldn't get sunrise through the door. Now here's your biggest problem. The first one is they're never that accurate. We know this, right? up until the hour that you're going to be doing your, your photography you could be looking at the app and it's changing constantly because it's just a prediction the, the serious complication that people add to their prediction if you like is that they predict the weather directly above where you're going now that's your first and biggest mistake you can't predict the weather above us because look at the sky above me it actually looks quite blue but actually there's actually a lot of cloud right above me and if you predict the weather at Durdle Door for this morning you would have thought yeah it's too cloudy but actually you've got to predict the weather 30 to 50 miles that way which is east at the moment east southeast where the sun's coming up because that's where the sun's going to hit the horizon so what I did do this morning when I first got up before I left home was actually predict the weather above Portsmouth because that's about 35 to 40 miles east of here and actually those skies are clear which is probably what that is there although that's a bit further south than Portsmouth so there's your biggest mistake is actually predicting the weather above where you're going you can't do that because all you're doing is predicting what's going above you the sun doesn't rise above you it rises that way there's your biggest problem and I think this morning I've still got a bit of time actually and look at the sky the sky is just beautiful you can't quite see it let me see if I can get get a better look at the sky let me point that down no, the camera's not doing it. The camera's really good at getting the light for you, so I can't really show you the, the sun. Uh, sorry, they can't really show you the horizon, but it is orange and pink. There is a lot of colour out there, and it looks damn amazing. And, uh, yeah, I am going to be happy in about, in about 35 minutes when the sun hits the horizon just through the door there. Actually, the sun's probably going to hit just a little bit round to the left, but it doesn't matter because as it tracks up, I'm going to have plenty of time to move myself along the beach to get the sun in the door. Awesome, and this is the time of year to do that. So, for those of you who didn't come on my workshop because you thought you wouldn't get a sunrise, or you thought the weather was going to be bad, sorry guys, you just can't predict it like that. It's not the way these things work, I'm afraid. Uh, you've missed out on an amazing opportunity. Try and come down here next week if you can, because as, as we get further and further to Christmas, the 21st of December, which is uh, some, uh, which is winter solstice, uh, the sun will then stop and then start tracking back north as it rises. And it actually, in the summer, rises actually over these cliffs here. Funny enough. So this time of the year, between now and Christmas and then probably most of January, you're going to get, if you've got a good sky, on the horizon, the sun rise through the door. Now I've got to move my camera now because I'm currently down here and the tide is coming in and down here it comes in bloody quick because this beach is quite steep uh, so I need to move back a bit but that's not a big problem for me I've got loads of time loads of loads of scope to get the sun come through the door and I've got a whole day today so I've got Trevor you can't quite see him I don't know if you can Trevor is there give a wave Trevor wave wave That's Trevor, <laughs> he's gonna be with me for the day. And I think I've got one more turning up at eight o'clock for the workshop, because this is just a free photo walk. Uh, I will be doing this again next year. Don't miss it, because this is a bloody good day. I've walked from Lulworth, which is a way away. Took me about 35 
minutes by myself to walk over. If there's a few of you, it takes a bit longer. And if there's anyone with any issues with leg pain, anything like that, I would suggest not even bothering because it is a nightmare. The hill is like that. Uh, but yeah, come over from Lulworth. Going to be doing a workshop all around Durdle Dorf for a couple of hours, then heading back to Lulworth. Uh, as there's only two of us, it probably won't last as long as it would have done if there were more of us. But having said that, we're going to be stopping at every location we can think about getting some amazing shots. I've already got some nice shots of Man of War, which is from this time of day, actually really, really nice. Uh, and I'm going to show you some pictures, don't, don't go anywhere. Uh, if I got the sun through the door, that's the next picture. And I'm going to show you that now. Never quiet down here. Look at that. What do you think of that? Not bad. For those of you who uh, are not trusting of the weather today, you dipped out, I'm afraid. Look at all the photographers that came down there. I don't know if I move my camera, but everyone's kind of down here. Well, I move the camera, and everyone kind of move with me. And then uh, they're all kind of down here waiting for the sun to rise on the horizon, which is great. But I didn't want that. I wanted the sun to be a bit further higher in the sky, so I actually waited a bit further around and uh, everyone ended up around me which is quite funny but you can see let's have a look see if we can get the door for you at the moment on video because uh it's moving the sun is moving quite fast around the sky and obviously the a small dog there. Uh, so yeah there's there is it through the door just to prove you on video that i didn't fake the sky I know some of you know that I like a bit of sky replacement, but didn't replace the sky. This is actually what I got. And remember that when you check your apps for the weather, don't look at the place where you're at. Look at about 50 miles, between 40 and 50 miles east, southeast of this time of year, not only be just east, but east, southeast this time of year, where you're going to be. Check the weather there, because if there's no clouds there, there's a good chance that the horizon is going to be favourable for sunrise. Anyway, I'm going to move on because I've got a workshop starting in about 10 minutes. Uh, and I'm meeting the guys at the top of the steps, so I need to get moving, so I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Cheers, bye. Is there much down there to look at? Oh, pipes, yeah. Look at that. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's, a bit, that's a bit of a way down. You get a picture and show me, <laughs> and I'll see if I want to get it. <coughs> the last time I did something like this was when I went to Wales, and no, I lie, Cornwall. And did the pole dart mines and had to cross over a cavern that had a 200 foot drop either side uh, and the path was about a meter long i don't do heights and this is this is bloody high to be fair we were coming over around the other side there to look back upon let me show you upon the uh, uh man of war which is further down the coast we've come along all the way you can see that we've come along from the door which is down there up the cliff and walked all the way over the top this is the walk by the way guys and girls if you ever want to do the walk from Dirtle door to Lulworth or vice versa uh comes down the path you see people walking down there and we kind of cut across and came down and end up coming over all this bracken up, up here but last time i was here the people that were with me we did that we did some of the workshop from a bit further down around there it's a bit lower down it's a bit further around the corner so you can see the man of war but this is a slightly different location so this will add to the repertoire of images potentially got from this location. And Trevor's my man is gonna get the picture for me and show me if it's worth me 
getting up there and it's bloody high and having a look uh, and seeing if it's actually viable to do, to do I don't know but we'll see okay so I didn't get that shot to, to be fair I'm just completely scared of going near the edge but look how close Trevor is there look oh, right around the corner of that cliff I have given him my disclaimer that if he falls and breaks his neck or dies it's not my fault can't sue I won't be able to sue at that point because he'd be dead but that's not the point <laughs> So some people are braver than I am, and I respect everyone who's got that, that kind of uh, outlook on life. I just can't go anywhere. I'm sweating just thinking about going to the edge. Uh, be safe, people. You've got to get those images. Just uh, be safe. I'm going to go back round to where I was last time and get some pictures back towards the uh, Man of War. And have a look at that. kind of top of the hill looking back towards Man of War. You've got a nice leading bit of uh, you got a nice leading bit of shoreline down there which is quite nice plus the shoreline over there too bringing it around to Man of War. It's quite nice you got that kind of view. I'm gonna try and get that if I can. day it's been pretty amazing from first thing this morning to to now we've had some really really good weather the sky has been great out there to the sea has been really really just blue uh, but now we're starting to get a bit cloudy and we're about to go home and then uh, of course I've actually been a bit braver today than I normally am when we was round by uh, the top of the other side of that hill there which is where we look back at the man of war never done that before never gone up to the top there that was quite brave and also i've been up to the top of that which has been pretty awesome i'm about to show you some pictures from today i've got quite a few pictures some i like some i don't like too much you know i don't usually shoot during the day but i've got some amazing images so stick around for those i am uh, uh i'm going to do this workshop again so for those of you that missed the sun through the door I'm probably going to program this workshop back in for January time because it's still going to be possible to get the sunrise through the door in January. Uh, it's going to be colder than it was today, so you people will have to, if you want to come on that, you're going to have to really, really like me, look like a, a red igloo because it's bloody cold. And, and the and the way this workshop starts, I actually start here and walk over in the morning. So I'll get here really early, get over, walk over to, Dur to Durdle Door for the sunrise and then back again uh, for the rest. Uh, there's only been a couple of people in the workshop today, so that was really, really quick. We got through the workshop pretty quick, and these guys were great. I need to do a mention. Keith Musselwhite. I met this morning a photographer, so I forgot your name. It has been a long day. Uh, but I want to do a mention to Keith, because I met Keith down on the beach for sunrise. He was there with me when we were getting the, uh, the sun through the door. And uh, we were both laughing at the fact that all these other people that were down there trying to get it 
didn't really know where they had to stand or where to be and then they were following us and that was quite funny uh yeah keith good to meet you buddy uh keith does have a youtube channel i think it's more about drones but i'm going to put that in the description so uh, be sure to look that up and uh yeah until the next one if you got anything out of this video uh if you're inspired to get down to dirtle door lulworth cove i hope this video has done something along those lines for you that'd be great if you have whack a thumbs up if you've been inspired by any of the images that you've seen in this video uh please uh think about sharing the video that would help out and if you haven't done so already please look to subscribe hit the notification bell to get updates every time i upload a new video and until the next one i don't know what location it'll be but until that one I will see you soon. Take care. Cut Take it easy, guys. Bye. Hi. I'm Andy and I'm here to tell you about my new online landscape photography academy. It's not your traditional online photography course, it's also a mentorship program. Many of you most likely know me from my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy my process of getting an awesome image from the landscape around me, you can learn to do that too. So, how does it work? After signing up for the Landscape Academy, you will immediately receive access to all lectures taking you through every aspect of landscape photography. From beginner courses, through to intermediate and onto the more advanced photographic techniques. At the end of each lecture, you'll be provided an assessment to progress you through the steps of creating an appealing image from beginning to end. After submitting each assignment, you will receive a handcrafted personal feedback video on your progress, giving you actionable steps to take your work to the next level. These mentorship sessions continue as you build your skill set from beginner to advanced landscape photography. By the time you finish the course, you will have hours of personal video feedback crafted especially for you. Additionally, the entire Landscape Academy is self-paced and you have a lifetime access to all of the content. So there's no need to worry about deadlines or losing access to the content after an arbitrary amount of time. You may want to skip the beginner one course if you have a basic understanding of photography and a good grasp of camera settings. But if you're an absolute beginner, fear not, this course is designed to get you started from scratch. If you want to sign up and get more information, just click the link below or check out the Academy link on my website.